Hey, what's going on YouTube? J Jamal TV HD. I'm so gasting today. We've got the Huawei Mate 20X out here alongside the M Pen. Let's drop specs before we go any further. 7.2 inch AMOLED screen, 2240 by 1080p pixels, and that's about 340 pixels per inch, which is not the sharpest thing we've seen. Um, you've got EMUI 9, Android Pie, 128 gigabyte storage. You've got SD card expansion, but it's a new type of SD card that we can't exactly buy yet. So, yeah, that's a future thing still. Um, processor is a Kirin 980. Top of the line thing for Huawei and Honor devices at the moment. 6 gigabytes of RAM, 5,000 milliamps of battery, which I'll get into later. And obviously, the banging triple camera thing, which is made up of a 40 megapixel normal camera thing, 20 megapixel wide camera, <laughs> wide camera, wide angle camera thing, and a 8 megapixel zoom camera lens ting. All right. Bruv, this thing is mad. It's too tall to be in the frame. All right, so this is what we got on the back. Let's go get in. Let me get my ting. Don't know. Castlevania ting. All right. Um, scrap. Oh, okay, it didn't really work as well as I thought it would, to be honest. All right, let's get this one as well. Don't know. Get out, get oh okay, what's this gear? Oh yeah. Damn. That is beast. That is actually beast. Let me just leave that here for now. Whew. Damn. Let that slide out. Let's put that to the side for now. To the side. Let's see what else we got going down in the box. Put that to the side. Um, what's this? SIM card, SIM thingy, removal tool, whatever it's called. Um and the UK charger. And what charger is this? Does it say? Supercharge. But anyway, yeah. Put that to the side. Um, and you got some earphones. You know, they come with a standard headphone jack. Because obviously this thing has a standard headphone port. Um, and is this the purple one? Let's just have a see. Let's have a look. Yeah, these are the purple ones. So you know it's supercharged. You know it's real. All right, let's put that to the side. And let's not forget about the M Pen. All right. All right. Official Huawei things. Pause this if you want to see Wagwan for the back. Um, yeah. Let's pop it open. See Wagwan. Hey. Okay. It's probably the messiest unboxing that's been on YouTube for this, but boom. So what are these? Two extra tips. And you got one tip in there. And let's just put that. Oh, it's a lot thinner than I thought it would be. It's a lot, it's a lot thinner. You know, I thought it was gonna be a thick thing, but um there's all that stuff there that you can have a little read if you want. Oh, it charges via USB-C. You're gassing. Mud thing. I didn't know that's how you charge it. I literally did not know that is how you charge the pen. That's live. Alright, let's get onto the phone. Yeah, guys, this is looking mad. This is looking mad. Let's get all this sellotape off. All right, let's get it off. It's off. That's off right there. Mm -mm -mm. And this is off right there. And there you go. Whew. Look at that source. Hey, look at that source right there. Wow. Wow. Let's get it turned on. Let's get it turned on. I mean, if there's juice, that is. Little notch at the top. Hey, there's juice. We don't know the don't know. All right. Um, to be honest, guys, I don't think I'm going to take you through the setup process. I'm going to just get it going um, and let you know Wagwan in my first 10 minutes, first 15 minutes with it. <sighs> guys, guys. We are back here, yeah? but boy, let me tell you, since the last part of this video, there has been a four hour gap of downloading old apps onto this new phone and making every setting as I wanted it to be. Um, but now it's, you know, it's cool. I've got my Pixel launcher on there now. Um, so I'm getting my near, you know, stock um, experience going on and thing like that. Um, the fingerprint um, sensor is set up and it's a lot more responsive than any in-screen fingerprint sensor that I've tested out. Um, I've tried the Mate 20 and I've tried the OnePlus 60. Um, and look, so three, two, one. 
It's, it's certain, you know, I don't have any anxiety. Am I going to unlock my phone? Is it going to par me? <laughs> you know, am I going to run out of unlock, um, you know, chances? And is it going to ask me to put in the, the password or something? Like, I don't have any of that unlock anxiety with this phone, as I often did with my OnePlus 6T, which is cool. So, yeah, the standard procedure fingerprint sensor on the back is doing jobs. Um... What else we got here? The apps. Yeah, as I was saying, I've installed most of my apps and um, signed into most of them, but there's a lot of apps going on here. But the ones I have signed into, um, yeah, they seem to be working fine. You know, Twitter working there. Um, you can get into your mentions, see what I need to see. Um, come back out of that. Um, go into, where's Instagram? Instagram's around here somewhere. Um, yeah, all the apps are working fine. Um, internet, Wi-Fi, you know, I'm getting my 4G on Vodafone, fine, no problems with that. Um, usually if there's, if it's a foreign phone and I'm trying to get 4G with Vodafone, um, I'll be getting 3G or I'll be getting HSPDA or whatever that H signal stands for. Um, so yeah, that's all good with the signal front, um, and internet. Um, cameras. Cameras are deep, guys. The cameras are deep. I haven't really tested them fully, but from the pictures that I've taken um, at night time, like, for example, I'm not sure if you can see, but these pictures have been taken in a car. Um, and it's dark. Like, this is night. This is a nighttime shot. It almost looks like it's day <laughs> um, outside. Like, look at that. Um, and that's with the wide angle as well. You can take nighttime shots with the wide angle and with the zoom lens, um, obviously the zoom lens will have a bit more noise unless we put it on a gimbal or a stabilizer. But I'll let you know how that is um, when I get to doing that. But um, yeah, camera so far so good. Seems fine. I've taken some shots of my OnePlus 6T to put on eBay. Um, and, you know, these shots look OK. Quite a bit of detail in there as well. Um, so, yeah, I can't really complain about the camera right now. And I don't think I would do with this phone anyway. Um, yeah, app launches, okay. Camera um, is okay in that, you know. General fluidity of the phone is calm. Um, stylus time, guys. What is the stylus saying? I don't really see much people play around with the stylus for this phone. Um, and I think that's mainly because there's not many apps that I know of that are compatible with the stylus. So... The one bait one that I know is um, that you can press this button, tap on a page, and nothing happens here. So, okay, let's try that again. Tap, press this button right here, tap on a page, and it should bring up the note. Uh, there we go. We've got the note app, and you can... Oh, this is terrible handwriting. Right. Whatever you want. Yeah. There you go. Um, so, yeah, you can do all them things there. Draw what you want to draw. Um, I don't think there's an artist mode where you can use different paintbrushes, or maybe there's an app that I can do that. But all the notes get saved to the Notepad app, and you can look at them later on. Um, they're usually in black and white for some strange reason. I don't know why, but um, there you go. You can see it right there. Um, so, yeah, that's the Note app, really. I prefer to use Google Keep. I just feel like the pen strokes look a bit better. Um, look at these pen strokes. Yeah, I don't know. It just looks a bit more stylish for some reason. Um, but yeah, I feel like Google Keep looks better, even though it's not pressure sensitive like the other Note app was. Um, but yeah, it looks better for me. So that's all cool. Um, but yeah, you can use the stylus to do whatever you want to do in the UI. You can use it to play a game if you had the urge to for some strange reason. Um, yeah, guys, first impressions. I'm impressed. I mean, I can't actually put the stylus anywhere on the device. Um, so I'm going to have to probably put it in my pocket and I'll probably lose it within the first week. So I'm not sure what's going to happen there. Um, another downside is, yeah, it is, it's really massive. It's a bit, <laughs> it's a bit ridiculous. Like, as you saw, I was trying to get to the notifications up here. I've made a shortcut so I can press down on the, um, fingerprint sensor to get the notifications, but it's, it's looking a bit mad. So anyway, guys. 
Um, I'll let you know in a couple months time, a couple weeks time, how I'm feeling with the phone. But it's going to be my daily driver for now. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. I'll catch you in the next one. J Jamo out.